In this video we'll be using Excel to demonstrate a fairly simple concept. It's a nice technique to allow you to enter values into an Excel spreadsheet cell without any mistakes. Essentially it allows a person to pick an item from a list so they don't actually have to type the item. This makes it easier for the data entry plus it also provides that data validation so the person is limited to only entering certain items into the spreadsheet cell. So you'll notice on this particular spreadsheet that we have the, a little sample room reservations area and then we have two lists. We have the name list and the room list. We're going to use these two lists to provide us with what the options are that a person could enter into a spreadsheet cell. So to start this process I'm just going to select these cells that I see here in this first column underneath the name label and I'll just go down our ways here assuming we're not going to have too many room reservations and this particular feature in Microsoft Excel is on the data ribbon so we'll click on the data ribbon and it's under the data validation option in the data tools group so we'll click on data validation and we want this data validation first option and you'll notice we have three tabs, the settings, the input message, and the error alert. So under the validation criteria, we want to allow values from a list. So we choose the list option from the drop-down menu. And now it's asking us where the source of this list is. Now you can stick this list anywhere on your spreadsheet. I happen to put it near my room reservations, but that was just for convenience of this video. So I'm going to click the selection button and then I'm going to drag across the items in my list and click that selection button again and now I've got my list configured properly for the source of the values. You can also choose an input message and so you can tell the person something, you know, like, um, make a choice please select from the list under the drop down arrow you can leave this blank of course if you wish and let's go ahead and say okay now you'll notice over here on my room reservations area I got a little pop-up It says make a choice please select from the list and I can pop the little arrow down and choose from one of the many names in my list and it populates it into my sheet and you'll notice as I click on each cell I get the little drop-down menu so let's just go ahead and repeat that process we're going to do the same thing here with room so I'll just drag down and click on the data validation button it opens up the data validation dialog box. Go to settings. Allow from a list. Click the source button. Select your list. Click the source button again. Add an input message if you wish. You could call this room choice. And again, prompt the selection from the drop down. and notice it says room choice and so on and we can pick a room from the list and notice you get a scrolling list and again any of these will show the same pick list